The overall trend in America is that we're going towards contact lens use and away from glasses. And then within the contact lens market, it's a lot of daily disposables being used. Inside Science. We thought it would be interesting to see how people dispose of their contact lenses because there's no instructions on the box. And so we conducted kind of a brief survey and we found around 20% of contact lens users that we survey were flushing them down the sink or toilet. Problem is that the contact lenses are going down the drain and interacting with wastewater treatment plants. And we've, we've known for a while now that plastic and wastewater don't really uh, interact very well. Basically the interaction between contact lenses being flushed and a wastewater treatment plant creates microplastics. So microplastics pose a threat to the environment. These small plastic pieces are able to move quite freely throughout the ecosystem. It kind of depends on where they're deposited, but sometimes the end result of wastewater goes to something like a wetland or a stream or a river. And if, it's, if these you know, soil properties are carrying plastics, then absolutely it has a chance to reach the ocean or any other delicate ecosystem nearby. Then we know research has shown animals like crabs and shrimp have taken in these plastics by accident. There's a good chance that they could do the same with a contact lens fragment. In terms of making biodegradable contact lenses, we're a little far away, I think, from that. So instead of doing that initially, it would just be great if we established a better method to dispose of them. I want people to know that uh, what goes down the sink or toilet is potentially dangerous in the environment, and we need to be aware of what we're putting down there, especially as it pertains to contact lenses. And I, and I really want people to know that there are options for recycling these things instead of just tossing them even in the trash can. And, and really also be aware of what types of plastics are necessary, like our contact lenses, and what types of plastics really are, are avoidable, you know, plastic bags, utensils, straws, so on and so forth. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and the Coalition of Underwriters.